Hey guys and welcome back to another Unmentioned 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over a levelling up and an EXP system. So in this we're going to be gathering experience points or EXP from anything, in my example it's going to be killing an enemy and gaining enough of that will level us up and each time we level up we're going to need more experience to get to the next level. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see at the bottom I'm level 0. To kill an enemy all I have to do is walk into it. So I'm going to do that. I have the sound for gaining experience points. Do it again. I've leveled up and I have a sound for leveling up as well. And as you can see, I killed two to get to level one, three to get to level two, and it also carries over the XP if you have more than enough to level up. So it will carry over so there's no experience points wasted. And as you can see, we are leveling up and it's harder to do that each time. And in this example, it does also cap at a certain difficulty. So it's not gonna get infinitely harder. We do have a cap and you don't have to have that if you don't want. And also I can press one give myself five experience points just to test this once again. So this is what we made today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import our sound effects which we're going to use for gaining XP and leveling up. So I'll leave a link in the description down below to the two which I'm using and these are simply these ones. So two very simple sound effects but I think they're going to work fine for me. And next we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's going to be content third person BP, blueprints, third person character, and in here all we want to do is create some variables. So I'm going to hit the plus variable here, and I'm going to name this one level, and I'm going to change this to be an integer, so it's a numerical value. Then I'm going to make another one called EXP for experience points, so you can name that whatever you like. That's also going to be an integer, and then another variable named EXP needed, also an integer, and that's so we know how much experience points we need to level up. So I'm going to compile and you can set these default values to whatever you want. The only one I'm going to change is the EXP needed and I'm going to set it to 10. So to get from level 0 to level 1 you need to get 10 experience points. You can, you can obviously set this to be however you want. So you might want that to be 100 or 5 or 1 or anything really. Set it to be whatever you like. I'm going to compile and save that. And while we're in the character blueprint what I'm also going to do is actually create the system and the function for actually increasing our experience and leveling up. So we can do that very simply. Like I say, I want to do this inside of a function. So on the left over here, I'm gonna hit add function, and I'm gonna name this one add exp, like so. What I wanna do is I want to add an input in here, and I'm gonna name this one exp, making it an integer. And this is how much experience points we want to add to the player's current experience. So to do that, we can drag out of that integer there, and get an integer plus an integer, we're going to add it to the player's current EXP, which we have here. So it's going to get the current EXP and add that to the experience which they're getting from maybe killing an enemy or whatever it is that you're getting this from. And we then also want to set that to be the current EXP as well. So we can simply set EXP there. So that is how we're increasing the experience points. Very, very simple. Now we also want to make sure that we can level up if we need to. So to do that, we want to run a check to see if this EXP here is greater than or equal to another integer and this is going to be exp needed. So if we have enough or more than enough exp to level up we're going to do that. So we also need to hold down B left click to get a branch so we can actually run this check like so. And so true we are going to level up, false we're not going to level up. So also off of false what I'm going to do is play sound 2D and this is just going to be the sound for gaining experience. So I named that gain exp or exp gain like so. And off of true, we do want to level up. So what we're going to do is get our level integer here, get level, and simply get an increment int there. And what that will do is it will add one to the level value or one to whatever integer you input in there and set it automatically for us. So it's just a nice simple way of doing integer plus integer and setting it like so. So now what we've got is a simple system for leveling up the player. But what I also want to do is make sure that any XP can carry over. So let's say we need 10 experience points to level up and we've gained 15. What we want to do is make sure we level up and then add another 5 XP onto the next level. So we already have that bonus there so it's carried over. And we can do that very simply. So what we can do is we can get EXP here and do EXP minus an integer and we're going to minus it from the EXP needed. So let's use the same example if we need 10 EXP and we got 15. So we're going to do 15 EXP minus 10, that'll equal 5. And then we'll just set the EXP 
to whatever the remainder of this is. So the exp remainder will be set back into the exp. So again, 15 minus 10 is five. And so we then have five XP left over. So that's gonna work perfectly. And again, the final thing I also wanna do is make it harder each time for the player to level up. So they need to get more EXP each time. So that's also gonna be very simple for us to do. What I'm gonna do is get EXP needed. And what I'm gonna do is multiply this by a float. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want it to get 20% harder each time. So to do that, I can multiply it by 1.2. So now the EXP needed will get 20% harder each time the player levels up. Out of the multiplication, I'm going to get a truncate to turn it back into an integer like so, so it's a whole number. And I'm also gonna clamp this, so again, it's not gonna to get too hard. So out of this, I'm gonna get a clamp integer without going into the value. This is not necessary, you don't need to do it at all if you don't want to, but I think it's gonna be better just so it's not gonna get infinitely harder, and then that'll essentially give the player a max level they can get to, because they're not gonna be able to get enough XP. So the minimum will obviously be zero, the maximum I'm gonna set as 100. So the maximum experience they're gonna need each time is gonna be 100. Again, you can customize this to get it perfect for you. So maybe you'll have more or less EXP because I'm going off the basis that they're gonna get roughly five each time. So if you're giving out more or less, you can increase or decrease this to get it working perfectly for you. Or if you do wanna have it getting infinitely harder, you can just remove this entirely as well. Because also remember, the bigger the number gets, the bigger the increment is gonna be as well, because obviously 20% of five is gonna be a lot smaller than 20% of 100. So let's just bear that in mind. And then out of this, we then want to set EXP needed. So again, that is what is actually gonna be getting harder, is the amount of experience points we need to level up. And then out of this, I'm simply gonna play sound 2D again, and this is the sound for leveling up. So I simply named that level up there. And then I'm gonna put this into the output of the function, which do we have? We do not, so what I'm gonna do is select the input, create an output here, and we don't need to do this, but I think it's just gonna be good anyway. And I'm gonna output the level just in case we want to have that there like so. So I'm gonna output the level here, connecting in the level integer into that there, which we just added on like so. So we compile and save, and that is the basic simple leveling up system we have just created. So when we add the XP, we're just gonna add that onto our current EXP, and if that's enough to level up, we are going to level up, carry over the EXP that we have if we have a surplus amount of it, and then increase the difficulty by 20%. And if it's not enough to level up, we're just gonna play the sound for gaining experience points. So this is gonna work perfectly for us. So we can compile and save that. And so now what I'm gonna do is back in my event graph for the third person character, just for testing, I'm gonna get the one keyboard event out of pressed, I'm gonna call a function, add exp, and I'm gonna add five each time. So again, just to test, when I press one, we're gonna add five exp. And you can see we have the output of level there and the input of exp here. I'm gonna compile, save, and we can close that, as that is all we need to do. What I'm also gonna do is make it so that when we kill the enemy, we're gonna get exp as well. So for me, that's gonna be content, enemy, enemy bp here. And as you can see, I have some random room code, but very simply to kill the enemy, all I'm gonna do is walk into it. So I need to get event hit, other will be cast to third person character, so it has to be the player that is bumping into it. And as third person character, we want to call function add exp there. exp, what I'm gonna do is get a random integer in range, so it's not gonna be a fixed amount each time. The player will get random amounts of exp within a certain range with each enemy that they kill. And obviously different enemies can give different amounts of XP as well. So I'm gonna say we'll go from three to seven. So each enemy will give a random amount of EXP ranging from three to seven each time, which I think is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna compile, save, but also we wanna make sure that I'm going to destroy the actor after this so the enemy does actually die. So essentially wherever your code is for killing the enemy, just add in this bit here of adding the EXP from the third person character, like so. Very, very easy and simple to do. So in compile, save, close that. And now that is the leveling up system done. So what we've got is we've got it so we can level up the player, both from killing the enemy and just from pressing one, and it will increment each time with the level going up, XP going up, the amount needed to go up as well. So that will work perfectly. However, the player can't see what level they are or how much XP they have yet. 
So we need to do that now, and that's also very, very simple to do. So I'm gonna to go to Content, EXP, right click on my Content Browser, go to User Interface, and I'm gonna create a widget blueprint, simply naming this Level Widget, like so. I'm gonna open that up straight away. And what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna add a progress bar, and I'm gonna anchor that to the bottom of the screen, like so. I'm gonna just scale this up to the size which I want, which I think around this big will do perfectly for me. Doesn't matter where it is or how big it is, we just need a progress bar here anchored into the position it is in as well. So that will work perfectly there. What I'm also going to do is make sure the percentage is like that, so left to right, and I think blue is going to be a fine color for XP for me as well. But you can change this to whatever you like, so maybe even green. I'm going to compile, save that, and I'm also going to add some text above that so we know what level the player is. Again, I'm going to anchor that there like so. I think that is going to be good. So now we have text to see the current level and progress bar to see how much XP we have out of how much we need. So now we need to actually input these values in here. We can do that very simply. So I'm going to go over to the graph up in the top right here, delete event pre-construct and event tick, and we're just going to use event construct. We're going to come out of this and cast to our character, which for me is the third person character, but for you it could be third, first, or whatever you've named it. Out of object, we're going to get player character like so. And then as third person character, we're going to right click it, promote to variable, naming this character reference like so, and we're going to compile and save, and this just gives us an easy access to our character blueprint so we can get the XP, the level, XP needed, all the good stuff which we need. Now we'll go back to the designer, select the progress bar, under percent we're going to hit bind, create binding, and then what I'm going to do is get the character reference here, get character ref, and out of this what we want to do is we want to get the EXP and the EXP needed and divide them by each other to get the percent of how much we have versus how much we need. So very simply, character reference, get EXP, and then character reference, get EXP needed. But now how do we find a percentage difference between these? Well firstly we need to get a two float out of them to turn them into floats because we need to get a value between 0 and 1 so it's going to be a decimal so it needs to be a float and again do that for both of them and then simply these float values is what we're going to divide so we're going to divide exp divided by exp needed so float divided by float there like so and then that is what's going to go into the return value of the return node there compile save very simply exp divided by exp needed is the percentage of how much exp we have versus how much we need to be able to level up go back to the designer select the text now and again bind create binding, and this one is a lot more simple. What we can do is again get the character reference, and out of that we're going to get level, and then out of this I'm going to get a two text, like so, two text integer, so it's going to turn that into a text so we can put it into our text on the widget. And then after this I'm going to right click and get a format text, like so, and in the format I'm going to write level, colon, space, open brackets with the kind of little bounce on them, X close brackets and what that does is it's going to write level and what we input in there so we're going to write level and then input our actual level integer in there as well so we can connect the two text into where it says X and the result into the return value there like so compile save and again that is now going to put the level on screen how we want so I'm going to close this and then actually we need to go back into our character blueprint to put this on screen so for me it's content third person BP blueprints third person character and I'm going to do this off of event begin play so event begin play like so and we can simply get a create widget class it's going to be our level widget we just made and the return value is going to be add to viewport to put it on a screen like so compile save and again close this so now this should be the code all done and working for us so let's hit play and test this out you can see on screen we have level 0 and the progress bar is completely empty and if I were to walk into an enemy we got the sound effect for gaining EXP and our EXP has gone up. We walk into another one, it's still gone up again, we walk into another one, we've now gone up to level 1, we've got a different sound effect and the EXP has carried over as well. And let's continue walking into all of these and just keep leveling up. You can see it is getting harder each time as well. So this is working perfectly for us, we have a simple leveling up system in which we can gain EXP to level up, getting harder each time, and the EXP will be carried over as well. 
So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we want to do. Like I just said, we've got the leveling up system, which we can gain EXP. It will carry over when we do level up. We can level up, and leveling up will get harder each time. In my example, by 20%, with a cap of 100 EXP for each level. And again, when we kill an enemy, we're going to get a random amount of EXP each time, between two variables which we have set. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.